Hello, it's currently nine o'clock, it's like 9.30, but I really wanna start a new project tonight and I thought I'd take y'all along with me. So I'm doing a pattern test for my friend Aiden. It's her breast friend's top, or bralette actually. Can you see, can you see? She's so cute. And so I just wanna start this now because I wanna take y'all along with me as I do it. And I'm about to go sit and crochet in bed, so yeah. I'm gonna be using Hobby's Friends Cotton, their 8-6 Friends Cotton. It's really nice. I made a top with this yarn. It's my summer wave top. It's a cute color work top for summer. So if you wanna know how to do that, I've got a tutorial posted. So I have a bunch of extra of this yarn from that top. So I think I'm gonna do navy with the light teal or navy with the brown. I don't really know, but I'm gonna do the navy because I think it suits my skin tone. So yeah, time to make a swatch. We're a few rows in. I'm now going to... Okay, I'm so sorry about this. So sorry. I said it like I was Canadian. Anyway, for some reason, every clip where I'm at this angle where the plan and the bookshelf are in the background, I don't know why, but my camera is fighting to keep me in focus and it's never done this before. So I need to look at the settings. I don't know. Anyway, I, thankfully I'm not all the way done with this video. So the second half of it will be in focus. But if that's going to bother you, literally skip every single clip where I'm angled this way because I don't know what's going on. I'm now going to leave y'all and go sit in my bed and do this for the rest of the night and maybe read my book. I don't know, TBD. The stitch for this top is back loop only, half double crochet, so it's gonna be really cute and have some nice negative ease to really mm, cinch you in. I just love this color, so I'm excited about it. That's all, see y'all on day two. Day two of working on this top. I just finished the swatch. I was supposed to do the swatch last night, but then I got in bed and I felt like, shh. So, swatch complete. Time to start the actual top. Row three. Probably they hadn't. And there were only so many people there. Hello. It is later on in the same day. I've done, I don't know, eight rows. I'm about to start the color work section. I think I'm gonna do this color, this like rusty brown. This is cute, right? I don't know. Let's hope. I was deciding between that and a lighter cream, but I don't see myself ever using this again. So I'm like, okay, this will be a good opportunity to do it. So I'm gonna try. And I'm also watching a, a live stream, worn, you know, but maybe some of these people too. Now I'm gonna do the next few rows of these and start the heart. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, voice over here, just letting you know that first off, I got a new mic. Let me know how it sounds. I'm very excited about it, so I hope you like it too. And number two is that every time I crochet, I make this face. I like pucker my lips. I like have a lot of pressure. I'm like clenching and I don't know why and I keep trying not to do it. Every time I crochet, I think, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And yet I do it every single time. So sorry about that. All right, here's the update. She is so cute. Can you see? Do you see the vision? Do you see? Yep. I wasn't sure about these colors, but I think it's cute. I think it's gonna be really cute. Day three of working on this top, I didn't really do much since I talked to y'all yesterday, but now I'm about to go live with Kelsey on YouTube. So I'm gonna work on it then and hopefully we'll get a lot done. I'll let you know when I come back. Okay, hello. It's the next day, maybe two days later. I don't know. Oh, I think the next day. Yesterday I said I was going live with Kelsey and then I didn't end up doing that because we got tired. But here's the progress. We started the second heart, very cute and yeah, I'm just gonna work on this the rest of the night because now I'm calling these people. Zach? Do it again, Zach. Wait. Hello, friends. <laughs> Post Discord call. This is where we're at. We're almost done. I'm literally like only have this section to do on this side and then we're ready for the back and then we've got the border and the ribbing. So I'm feeling very happy about this and it was fun to talk to the homies. Day, day four, day four, five? I don't know. Hello, it's another day. Sometime. I haven't made any more progress since the last time I showed y'all when I was hanging with my friends, but I'm about to do a TikTok live in my first YouTube live. So I'm going to try to finish this while I'm doing that and we'll see how it goes. Never done a YouTube live before, so wish me luck. Cute. Cute. Do y'all stay pretty consistent with the way you change yarns? Because I really don't. Sometimes I work it into the stitch. Sometimes I magic knot it. I'm like, I don't know why I change it up so much. Hello people, this is where we're at. I'm almost halfway. I ran out of navy yarn, so I'm gonna frog a little bit of this so that I can get to the official halfway point. And then I think I'm gonna do the second half in this color because I literally don't have enough navy. But yeah, so I'm doing this while live. Everyone's experiencing this with me. Say hi everyone. <laughs> people helping me try to figure out what I should do. Disaster, hi. <laughs> 
See, this is why I go live, because like, what would I have done if I didn't have y'all to help me figure out what to do? Yeah, brown is the new blue, <laughs> you're so right. So if you watching this or also you here, thank you <laughs> for helping me figure this out. Finished my live, Um, I've made some mistakes. I don't know what I've done, but this is supposed to be 20 stitches long and it's 25. That's what I get for crocheting while live because I was yapping. So now I need to recount and figure out what's going on. But it's like, I knew I had to go off live because I couldn't even figure out in the pattern where I'd made a mistake. You know what I mean? I couldn't figure out what I'd done wrong. So that's my sign to stop for the night. So I'm gonna try to come back tomorrow and finish this top at some point this week, I guess. There's a lot going on. It's so crocheting 1A, 2B, 3C, you know what I mean? I feel like this is so much easier to comprehend because it's just colors and numbers, colors and numbers. And I like seeing the colors slip like that. I think it's cute. I was like, why do I never, have I never thought to do this? Like how many color patterns do I have? And I just never, never thought. Okay, so I just went and live streamed a little bit, me working on this. Here's where we're at. So we're getting really close, literally just the armpits. And then at that point, we'll sew them up, do our border, do our ribbing, and then we're done. Yay, productive night. Except for the fact that I'm not kidding, I frogged this like seven different times because I'm tired. So I'm going to bed now. Okay, it's day whatever. I don't know what day it is. We've finished the back panel. We're so close. And I'm hanging with my friends right now. They don't know I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna do this and see how they react. Oh, look. Oh my gosh, you can't even see Emma. She's so pixelated, that's so unfortunate. It keeps going back and forth between who wants to be, like, have a good camera and who does it. So right now, Emma's got the bad camera and Kelsey's got the good camera. But then in a few minutes, it'll switch, so it's okay. But yeah, anyway, I'm sewing these bad boys together. And I saw someone from one of the seasons of Love is Blind. We weren't 100% sure, because this person looks like many other people, and I didn't want to ask, because I knew if I asked, it would give him a huge ego. So can you guess? Who it is? It's from an older season. It was it was Shake, the, the vet. Yes. No way. And then I was like, okay, let me take like a picture of you. And so I put him in the background, just like for photo evidence. But the next day we checked his Instagram and he was like going out in Orlando and we were like, that was him. <laughs> and he was like doing the, I don't know, the lonely bro thing where he was like in the corner with like a drink, like just watching, like not participating. I was like, yeah, you're an asshole. I'm like, God, I didn't ask you. Like, obviously that's like, if, if you like have some- Okay, call over. Here's where we're at. We're basically done. Yeah, we're like 90% done. I'm excited because now I get to try it on and see how it fits, which I'm ex actually, I tried it on before I sewed the straps shut and I think it's gonna fit great because yeah, it was good without the straps. So me thinking it's gonna be even better with the straps on. What a productive day we've had today. And it was fun chatting with Kelsey and Emma. I've never whip stitched anything shut before. I kind of like it, it's kind of simple. I thought it would be noticeable, but it's really not. I guess I'm also using a small yarn. Okay, I'm not gonna fully sew them shut just because I wanna try it on at this point, but oh, well, maybe I should make this strap not crooked. So, okay, I'm gonna redo this strap because it's, can you see I sewed it shut crooked? This is why I'm glad I didn't weave in the ends because I knew something like this would happen, okay. Okay, <laughs> now that I fixed that, my straps are sewn on correctly. I'm just gonna flip it inside out. And now we're ready to do the initial try-on. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm about to fall out. Here's the initial try-on before I add the ribbing. Ribbing, necessary, but it's cute. Hi, it's another day. Today, in theory, is the last day of me working on this test. All I'm doing right now is weaving in my ends. Sometime this week, I'm gonna take pictures of it, so I'll show y'all when I have those pictures. Hopefully, I'll film some clips of me going out oot in a boot to take pictures. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been a really fun, good test. I just need to send my pictures and my feedback, and that's pretty much it. If you're thinking about buying this pattern, would recommend. I think it's perfect beginner-friendly bralette pattern, especially with summer coming up now that it's getting warm and now we can actually wear things like this. So yeah, this has been a really good test and I will show clips of me taking pictures now. All right, here's the finished top. I'm so excited with how it turned out. I think it looks great. I was really nervous about the colors, but I'm in love with the finished product. I'll link all of Aiden's information below if you want to check her out and purchase the pattern straight from her. And that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.